Michael J. Waterworth needed a hobby. He was tired of evenings with nothing to look at but his own yellowing hands. So he decided to get into fly tipping. He would hire a tipper van and pile it high with his life's rubble. A dusty set of golf clubs, a broken bottle, some old love letters, a soda stream. Then he would drive to the nearest nature reserve and dump the lot in the river. Michael smiled a child's smile as he imagined a game of cat and mouse with some local dribbling bitch who secretly admired his fugitive charms. His dreams grew intricate and profound in a ramifying canopy of smoke. Around midnight, he awoke in his chair, wiped the spittle from his chin, and decided to become an experimental composer instead. Thank you.
adventures set off for his local abandoned windmill. There he would construct the perfect hot box out of old iron sheets and wooden pallets. He was carrying a rucksack containing the essentials, a hammer, some nails, the golden treasury, and an eighth of substandard weed. Dreamily, driftingly, he admired the pylons and the glaring gorse, the sun ripening his face. He drifted in the direction of solitude. When, suddenly, his reverie was karate chopped in two. There in front of the windmill was a gang of local boys, trading raucous laughter and passing around a vodka bottle. William froze, he burned. He longed to be invisible, to curl up in the gorse, to escape from the sea. So hurriedly, a little flusteredly, William headed home. There he would weep a little, make a cup of tea, and write a strongly worded poem about injustice.
the Nags Head. A revolution in fine dining, five stars. The Nags Head, doing for haute cuisine what Stockhausen did for electronic music, five stars. The Nags Head, when they're on a Tinder date once, never spoke again, five stars. The Nags Head, I couldn't stop eating. I just couldn't stop eating. I simply couldn't. Five stars. When you enter the Nags Head, there's a sign above the door that reads, the horse meat is so good here, it's a scandal. Sounds promising, I said to myself, as the waiter guided me to my table. Welcome, sir, to the Nags Head, said the waiter with a blinding smile. Did you come here for the food? Well, yes, I said, a little wrong-footed. The food? I hear the food is excellent. Oh, it is, sir, he replied, and smacked his lips together in a gesture that was sort of like the chef's kiss, only without the fingers. He handed me a leather-bound menu with gilt edges. I opened it up. There were two words. Head, legs. Naturally, I opted for head. And soon enough, I was scooping out the brains with a special spoon. Between mouthfuls, I mopped the sweat from my brow with a monogrammed handkerchief. I looked around for the first time. The place was empty, except for one other diner, also alone. And there was a picture of Shakespeare's head. Underneath it, it said, to live, to laugh, the chance to love. What is this place? I stammered between dry heaves. My knees were like lead, and my heart was going like the flappers. It's a revolution in fine dining, said the other fine diner. The horse meat here is so good, it's a scam. It's a revolution, it's the horse meat, it's so, it's a scam. it's so good. Silently, the waiter appeared with a stretcher and evacuated my dining companion. since 2016. 
It's all right for you. You're probably rock hard most of the time. But I can't get it up anymore. I just can't get it up anymore. And every time I come out to try and just to experience something different, people like you. I let go of his lapels and he crumbled to the floor. The dessert was quite good to be fair. Jellied horse hair on a bed of oats. I felt bad. Really, it wasn't this man's fault. So I called myself a taxi and headed home. Later that night, I couldn't sleep. My mouth felt burns and my heart was sore. So I opened up the laptop and I typed in the nag's head. Google reviews came up and I started to slowly type. Very pleasant. But I couldn't do it. My claws were shaking too much. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, William. William Rogers for that batch. Heinz body, everybody. We have a fall break, and then open reunion. They're gonna play the music.